Welcome back to the Privacy Wayfinder. Today, my kids had the day off school, so I decided to take them to the library. I was able to search for our library in town, and it worked flawlessly with most of the features that I would expect from a navigation app. It gave me the distance to the next turn. It told me the direction of the turn that was coming up. It gave me the estimated time of arrival in minutes and the actual time. The one thing that was missing was voice navigation, and this is because Graphene OS does not have a native text to voice assistant on the phone. So without that, there is no way for the app to perform voice navigation. There is an option where you can download a text to speech assistant and the app can utilize voice navigation. So if any of you find a good text to speech assistant, please let me know in the comments and I'd love to try it out. So let's take a look at organic maps. So we'll go into the app. You would have to enable location services on your Graphene OS device in order to use navigation features. Let's just go over some of the basic features. If you wanna search for a landmark, you hit the search button. And here there are two tabs, history and categories. In your history, it's self-explanatory. It saves all of your searches. So let's say that I wanted to go to the library again. I'll click library. It finds all of the libraries near me. So let's choose Prospect Public Library. We'll click on that. It shows you the library right here. And if you wanted to route to the library, you would just click on the route to button down here and you could just start your navigation. And let's click on search again. Let's click on categories. And here you have all different kinds of categories. So let's say we were traveling and you wanted to find a hotel. Click on hotel and it would give you all of the hotels around you. And on the three lines, it's the menu, and you can download additional apps. You can donate to the project. You can share your location. What we're gonna go over real quick are the settings for organic maps. Here, you can choose your measurement units. You can choose to have your zoom buttons on the map. You can choose 3D buildings. You can enable logging, which is actually off by default. And then the next section are several navigation modes. In the middle, you got voice instructions. And this is where you would need to download a text-to-speech assistant in order for you to enable voice navigation. With routing options, you can choose to avoid toll rolls, unpaved roads, ferry crossings, motorways. So in the end, after my testing today, I can say that I'm sticking with organic maps until I find another alternative. Hope this video helped you guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.